Hi, welcome to round one. Wow, this hand. This hand is okay. I don't usually mulligan hands like this, even though it does need to draw land, and it's all of our expensive spells. But we're on the draw, which does help a bit, and we've got one of our better cards. So it is a close hand, as usual. Um, oh wow, look at all these new bells and whistles. Can we click these? Yes, you may click them. Whatever. As long as things haven't changed too much. Alright, well that's kind of like drawing the land, except we don't have a green source here. So we need some help. We are playing against Floji on a white-red deck so far. Happy to see no plays so far, although... Oh wow, still nothing. Come on, land. Oh, we didn't get there. Only playing 16 land, so maybe that's our downfall here. Oh yeah, we're pretty dead. Live and learn. The uh, balance with Attune the Ethers is, is kind of unknown. <laughs> I don't really know what's going to be good. All right, our main goal is to survive here, and Aradar Express is like the biggest liability. What we need to do is play Fumigate on five mana, and then stabilize with Stomper into Angel. Assuming they keep playing stuff, which they probably will. Land. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Let's get rid of the uh, assembler. I don't know. It doesn't give away the fact that we're green, I guess. <laughs> Brazen Scourge. Oh, yeah. This was savage. And for the record, the energy seems to appear on the life total. There is one card, it's it's prolifer, uh, proliferatable. There is one card that acts kind of like a proliferate for a single... for a single target, like a single thing with a counter on it. And you can target a player with that. So just like proliferate, the um, energy counters can be... They're on you, just like a poison counter. Are we dead yet? Yes. Yes, we are. Well, that was a that was a pretty good game. Apparently, two attunes is not enough, or maybe it is. It looks like I don't want to get rid of one of those. What I want to do is get rid of like a swamp and add a forest because these combined with forests are really good, but without a forest there, they're not so good. I am going to keep keep a 16 land, but yeah. You can't judge your mana base by one draw. Then again, I mean, we, 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 we really do want to get to five mana will be on the play here. So maybe it is right to play 17 plus those two cards that find land. This is working out much better for us. We naturally get all the land we need. And I guess we'll play the we'll lead with the hawk here. The attune is nice, it finds us our second green. Which could be useful later. Also, I will go ahead and play out the patrol in case they try to kill the hawk. So this gives something to another target attacking creature. Okay, so it doesn't even trigger if you have no other attacking creatures. That's nice. Well done, magic team. Oh, this brazen scourge. He's really good. What I'm going to do now, though, is no, no payment here, and I'll try to ambush the Scourge with my impeccable timing. Ooh, 
You could have any number of whatevers, but I just don't want to take all this damage. Cool. One consideration there was that we have three self-assemblers coming down soon, and those could just block Brazen Scourge. But this seems okay. All right. What do we want to do here? We could get one more damage in by paying one energy. I don't love that, so I'll just attack for one. And then we can start flying the assemblers. Yeah, let's get another one of these guys. Only one at a time. Unlike Squadron Hawk, where you could get just all of them if you wanted. It's too bad, because if we shuffle a, an assembler to the top of our deck, then we have to draw it. Whereas Squadron Hawk was great, because you knew you'd never draw another one. It just thins your deck out of a two-mana 1-1 one -one flyer, which you don't really want in your deck. You, you want it in your hand, sure, but not in your deck. Wow, what do we do here? They can get their freighter as a blocker, but it's not a flying blocker. So, let's just do the uh, assembly plan. And yes, we will pay the high price of one energy. What have you got for us? Don't kill the hawk. Oh, they are not killing the hawk. They are killing the self-assembler. And we get a bigger ninth bridge patrol. See, it's all working out. And what now? Do we want to bounce the hawk? It would grow the patrol, but I think we don't need to show them our angel. And this guy's just as big as an angel. Especially while we can give it flying like this. This is another reason to play less lands in the deck, even though this is five mana. When you get all your self-assemblers out of your deck, you're going to... it's like reverse thinning, it's thickening. You have more... more lands than you'd really want. Oh shoot, what do we do about this guy? Do we want to try to block this thing? And run into whatever trick it might be? Yeah, I think we do. It's like they get in one damage, and we get a counter on our guy. And that's a good trade for us. Sure. And we've got assemblers for days. They have no idea. No idea over there how many assemblers we have. This doesn't really matter. I'm just you know, not going to let them block anyway, but I will not use that ability. There's no point, really. We don't know any cards in our the order of our library at all. We will give this guy flying, because they could so easily just fend it off with their goat here. This is the biggest goat ever printed, I'm sure. 2-4? What's he doing at 2-4? He should be a 1-1. One, one. I'm happy to see them not attacking here. And I'm happy to see a riparian tiger. We can start to worry a little bit about how much energy we're spending. But... They're pretty much two attacks away from death anyway. So we'll give this guy flying. And... Oh no! Alright. Fair is fair. I think we go with the tiger here. Because that gets into the air next turn for a lot and we can always reset it or the hawk with Whisper Weaver Angel as needed. 
So they've dealt with all of our assemblers. Humph. Wow. <laughs> our Adara Express. That's crazy. And we do have a bunch of energy now, so maybe we try to get in the air with the Express next turn. It's not really necessary, though. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe we just don't need to do that. Huh. Okay. Like, doing 5 damage and 7 damage this turn, they aren't really different. So I'll just give him a little scare here and pay 1 energy. Yeah, I'll give this guy flying so they can't block it. But no, I'm not going to pay extra. It's like they're at 2 life and we can do either 1 damage or 1.5 damage. It just doesn't matter. Um, express. Express or Angel. They're, they're, they both have their upsides. The Whisper Weaver Angel has a literal upside and this one is you know, it's a train. I'm going to do the safe route. I'm going to play the angel. That gives us two flyers for next turn. It gives us some more energy. It makes ninth bridge patrol bigger. It's just going to be the safer play. It's worse against Fumigate. I'll, I'll say that much. But it's a more reliable kill next turn. Okay, and they see it. So this uh, deck works a lot better when it draws some land, even when it's on the play. They don't seem to have a bunch of flyers, which would make takedown better. Skygate. Skygate might be what this deck needs to hang in there. Wow, am I doing that? Am I putting Skygate in? I think I am. I'll take out the Express. Express is fun. We're going to be on the draw, so if we just draw this and play this, it's just going to suck. So I'm going to take the Skygate, which could actually save us. It looks like our late game is already better than theirs, as long as we can get there. Their deck's good, though. I mean, they did deal with all three of our assemblers. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, okay, they're mulliganing. We'll, we'll join them. Once again, I'll keep this... Um, they're down to five. I'm going to keep this. It's much like the first hand we kept, except now we get a scry. Ooh, that's tempting. But I'm going to put anything that's not a land on the bottom. <laughs> that guy's just a 1-1. One -one. He just doesn't do anything. And we are now closer to a land. So hopefully they don't have such an aggressive start. Well, that's good for us. Forest means we effectively have two more lands to draw. Whew. All right. I'm still not out of it, but <laughs> uh, we could be drawing a little bit better. Even if we draw the the uh, natural whatever that, that gets another land, we could get a swamp and play a card, and that's going to be important here. Oh god. Well, they drew quite aggressively. What can we do? I think the play here is going to be Wanderer into a Swamp to guarantee we can Fumigate next turn. Uh, I imagine they'll just play like a 3-drop haste or something, and we'll be down to single-digit life after trading. Yeah, and we'll just have to trade with, like, I don't know. It doesn't matter here. In fact, I'm almost happy if they save this creature, because then we get more life off of Fumigate. 
But good luck beating Fumigate. Just run that off immediately. Them mulliganing down to five, and on the play, that means they just have less cards out to deal with all this. So now, let's thicken our deck, try to get some more lands. So we'll get our last assembler, and when we play our next one, they'll know that we don't have any more in our deck, because we, we won't search for one. Okay, this is six. We can't play two cards this turn, so we just want to play the most expensive thing we can. Yeah, I'll, I'll attack here. I'm not worried about dying next turn. I'm really not. And then I'll play an assembler. It's not much worse than the the tiger, but it is something we'd be more willing to block with. If they're going to have a trick and beat this guy, I'd rather it just be the uh, this guy than the uh, tiger. Cool. Now we do have seven, so that's two things we can do. Playing Kambal first main is defensible. Because any tricks they have, they'll have to run them out or or get hit by Kambal. Cool, and they're on a pretty short clock. Play our awesome Pima Outrider. Uh, yeah, let's get a servo. Spread it around. Fumigate's good. Before the next round, I'm going to take out a swamp and put in a forest, so it'll be 8, 7, 1 for a total of 16 lands. Uh, game 1 seemed to be a little bit of a fluke. I guess we almost didn't draw enough lands this time. But I do like having at least 8 um, forests with our two fetchy guys. Cool. See you in the next round.